Hello, my subscriblings, and Happy New Year's! It's 2024, and what comes with the New Year's? New Year's resolutions. I used to do videos every year where I would talk about my New Year's resolutions, and then at the end of the year, I would talk about what I accomplished, what I didn't accomplish, and, you know, maybe like why or what I learned. But I haven't done that in a few years. So I decided that 2024 would be the year that I bring back my New Year's resolutions, but a bit differently than how I normally do. So instead of covering every aspect of my life with my New Year's resolutions, I decided that I would focus on one specific part of my life. And that is going to be my art. Art is a huge part of me. I've been drawing since I was about six years old, but I've never sat down to intentionally work towards improving my art. It's just something that has kind of happened slowly over time through just, you know, noticing mistakes and noticing things that I might want to change, but it hasn't really been intentionally. So this year, I'm going to change that. This year, I have made a list of art goals that I would like to work towards. The art goals that I have decided upon are to learn backgrounds, to learn anatomy, to work on dynamic poses, to try drawing at least 10 minutes a day, and then to work on stylizing bodies. Now with backgrounds, I am terrible with backgrounds, and I want to be able to create environments that feel lively and feel like my characters can actually interact in, because I love doing character design, and I have so many characters with so many stories, but a lot of times I struggle to draw illustrations of them simply because I don't know what background to put them in, or the background I want to put them in is too difficult for me. So I'm going to work towards actively learning to do even just simple backgrounds. And with anatomy, there are just things where it's like, if I try drawing without a reference, legs are too long, arms are too short, noses are too big or too small, so I just want to work on actually learning proportions. And after I learn proportions and all of that, it'll help me towards stylizing bodies. Because I've worked on stylizing faces to um, a point that I like. Now it's just the bodies that I need to work on stylizing. And then drawing 10 minutes a day is just going to be there to help push me to be consistently and constantly working on these goals. Now this drawing that I'm working on is very intentional for my goals. This drawing I'm going to use to kind of track my progress. I'm drawing it here at the beginning of the year and then at the end of the year I'm going to redraw it to see how I've improved. And in this drawing I tried to add in as many aspects that I want to work on as possible. So if you notice there are three characters interacting in this environment. There's Solus, Serenita, and Andrew, three of my OCs. They're interacting in a background, so that's one of the things that I want to work on. And then with anatomy, I tried adding in hands, and then with Serenita, a pose that I don't normally draw, and with Andrew being kind of back in the distance, all of that's going to include anatomy. And then of course they've got bodies, so that's going to be stylized bodies right there. And I think this kind of goes along with the background, but lighting. Lighting is something that I usually don't focus on. I usually don't have a light source, so any of my shading and lighting is kind of random. So I want to be more intentional with that. So that's why Solus is under an umbrella and Serenita and Andrew are out in the sun, just to kind of give me that difference in lighting between the three of them. And that should cover all of my goals that I want to work on. So hopefully, this drawing will be a, a good milestone and a good marker for my progress by the end of the year. I'm looking forward to this year and hopefully make some progress. I'm looking forward to actively working towards bettering my art. It's about time that I do so. As always, thank you for watching my video and watching my little silly drawing. It means a lot to me. And hey, if you'd like to join me on my goal to improve my art, feel free to. I think it would be great if there was just a bunch of us sitting down and making the decision that we're gonna work to better one of our favorite hobbies.
You can join me this year as I work towards that progress. I'm sure I will be posting updates here and there on what I've learned and what I'm working on. So if you would like to stay with that and keep up to date, feel free to subscribe. Or if you just want to see my drawings as I post them, I post on Instagram and Tumblr. My tags will be at the end. And speaking of the end, we made it to the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!